Hi guys, I'm back again with another video and today we're going to do the review of Ezilla Stompzilla. So I got this speaker from Amazon for the price of 1100 rupees and in this video let's see whether this speaker is worth it or not. So before we get started with the review, I would ask you to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Tech Dude Varun and don't forget to hit the bell icon for further notification. And let's get started. So this is Ezilla's second speaker that they have put out in the market. It's a 10 watt speaker and they are calling it the Stompzilla. And the hashtag is hearing is believing. So in the front of the box as you can see you've got the image of the speaker, the Ezilla logo over here and let's go around the box and see what all features it offers. So at the back you've got some specifications. It's got Bluetooth 5.0 Connection range is 10 meters, battery size is 1200 mAh, playtime is 5 hours, charging time is 3 hours and the output power is 5 into 2. That means total of 10 watts you get from this speaker. And the charging time over here is 3 hours but it does not take 3 hours, it only takes 2 hours to completely charge. You get two color variants, black and silver. I've got the silver version over here and on the top you have got Bluetooth, auxiliary input, USB input, micro SD card input and FM radio. So without wasting any time, let me unbox the speaker for you and I'll be back with the contents. So in the box you get the main speaker unit, you get the auxiliary cable, you get a USB charging cable and you get a user manual. And that's about it. So let me keep these things aside and let's bring in the speaker. So here is Ezilla Stompzilla. The design is okay but the only thing that I like is the color scheme. It's absolutely silver. You've got a silver mesh in the front, you've got a silver mesh at the back and you've got two plastic mounts over here which are silver in color. In the front you've got the Ezilla logo over here, you've got 5 watt drivers over here and the passive base radiator at the back. On the top you've got the play pause and the answer call key, you've got the minus button over here, the minus volume. You've got the mic, you've got the multifunction button over here, you've got the plus volume, you've got the LED and you've got the power button over here. Over here and over here you've got the passive base radiators over here. At the back you've got a flap in which you have got the charging point, you've got the pen drive, you've got the TF card slot and the auxiliary input. And mind it, it's just a splash proof speaker so it is IPX5 water rated. So you can't put it under water because that will damage your speaker. It's just IPX5 water resistant. So how does the speaker sound and what is the battery like? So the battery size on the speaker is just 1200 mAh. It takes about 2 hours to completely charge and the playtime that I got was 4.5 hours at 70% volume and that's brilliant from a 1100 sorry from a 1200 mAh battery a 1200 mAh battery that lasts four and a half hours at 70% volume that's very good and the sound quality so for that I would ask you to wear headphones and listen to the sound quality and you decide whether this speaker is for you or not so here we go with the music so here we go with the music So now that you've heard the sound quality of Ezilla Stompzilla, I am not impressed at all. I was very much impressed by the smaller speaker, the Ezilla Atomic Zilla, 
but Ezilla Stormzilla is just not worth it. It's not worth spending 1100 rupees and you're getting a speaker which has very less space. The clarity is undoubtedly very good. You've got nice treble, but the bass is very less. So that is the only reason that this speaker is a no-go for me. Because I like speakers which have got a decent amount of bass. So for that reason, I give Ezilla Stormzilla a thumbs down just for the bass. Otherwise, the clarity from the speaker, the treble is good. But the only thing that is missing is the bass. So Ezilla, work on your speakers. Your speaker is a fabulous speaker in clarity, but it could have been way better if it had bass. I hope you like this video. Do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Tech Dude World. This was my review for the E Stormzilla and I'll be back soon with another video. You take care of yourself. God bless and be safe.